What's going on guys and welcome back to, yes, another satisfactory episode. So last time we got the reinforced plate set up, the rotors, the frames, and the smart plating. That is all heading on this sushi belt, which is then going into this storage setup here. And then any excess items on this sushi belt will then go into the resource sink. And in today's episode, we're going to be making these stutters and mortars, which are going to be going above this production line here onto the second floor where the copper and wire lines are but we have a bit of an issue if we have a look at the stutter recipe it requires 15 steel pipes and 40 wire and i don't think we're producing as much steel pipes as what i think i'm doing because this is going to make me five stutters per minute and if we look at the mortar recipe, it's going to require 10 per minute. So that's going to require 10 rotors and 10 stutters to make five mortars. So that means if we head over to the steel building, climb some ladders and check our pipe production lines, we're only making 80 per minute. So 20, 40, 60, 80, which is more than enough, but it's still not enough in my eyes. So what we do need to do is I think we need to upgrade all of this and get it onto the latest belts, which we do have uh, Mark III belts now. And I believe all this is on Mark II, if I remember correctly, which it is. So it is Mark II. So we need to upgrade all this to Mark III. So we're going to have to rip all of this out down here, what we've built. Because if we just jump down here, we do need to increase the foundry size as well. Because we are going to, well, technically we're doubling uh, our lines and plus 30 onto them as well. Because Mark II lines, as we know, hold 120 resources per minute. And a Mark III holds 270. So we can double it plus 30 extra items. So we are going to be overclocking some miners to give us that additional 30 or per minute so that's exactly what we're going to do first we're actually going to grab ourselves one of the mark one well, miners hold e get into mark two and then we can see that we do need two portable miners so let's put an equipment workshop down let's go into here and put uh we'll craft two of these uh once we've done this we can just quickly um replace the mark one miner with a mark two miner uh like so so we don't have to do any configuration with cables and all that kind of stuff and then we need to upgrade these belts to Mark III, uh, which does mean that we do have to change all the belts going from these miners all the way across these towers, which go to the steel build. Um, but we also need to do the second miner over there as well. And now that I've upgraded the miner, we just need to put ourselves one power shard in there, go down here and then overclock this to 270 items per minute. Because as we know, a Mark III belt holds 270. So let's do it with this second one as well. I've already upgraded the belts just here. Um, so they uh, are ready to be filled to capacity. Oh, oh God, that's way too much. Whoops. And there we go. 270 per minute. So what I'm going to do at a blink of an eye, I'm going to upgrade all of these belts so you guys don't have to go through the suffering and pain that I'm about to go through. And I'm also, I need to make sure that I upgrade the additional lines from these miners right here as well which are normal nodes and uh, as you know we have two pure nodes over here which are bringing two lines across there and then this one is merging into this tower to create three there as well so yeah let's upgrade them and uh, let's crack on with the next job Present bits here. Did you know I live stream on Twitch? Check the description. Hi. And there we go. We've now added the additional four constructors, which now should be needing. 30 times 8, so if we do 30 times 8, is 240, but we have 30 ingots spur. So, um, what we're going to look at doing is we could either add another constructor here, or we could overclock. I think what I'm going to do, just for this one, uh, and just to save power, I'm actually going to add another constructor. Uh, I'm going to make it a, a line of 9. So we need to make sure this is this way, and uh, hopefully that's in there. 
Well, hopefully you guys just enjoyed that little time lapse there. And if you do want to see more of them instead of me skipping from A to B, uh, and it kind of creates a little bit of coolness. Does that make sense? You know, having a different perspective. I think it's cool. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments if you uh, enjoy that sort of thing. And if you want to see more of it, uh, then we will do. Then go under here and then attach that to the... I always like to do underpowering. I think it's a lot cleaner, um, especially if you've got another floor underneath this. For example, if I was to put like um, this just down here and then you've got, a, you know, a lack of logistics floor, you know, as we call it. Um, and then we can just put that in there. It kind of hides it. You could also do other thing. Also, Total Eclipse just dropped a really, really good video. Uh, highly recommend it. He's uh, kind of how, you, how to hide cables and keep better cables. Go into the description. Give him a click. Go and subscribe to his channel if you've not enjoyed it. Great guy. Good friend. And uh, go check out that video. So now I'm just going to add in some more foundries, which I'm just going to line up here. Hello. Oh, the output's this side. That's why. Um, line up here. And we're just going to split these up with a, a gap in between as well. Just for symmetry sake. There's no, you know, reason for it. But other than just making sure everything's lined up and these are all going to come out. That's the only reason. Um, now we need to do the output line, which is this going to be sending my steel ingots. So let's put this along here and there. Connect all them up with belts, which should be Mark 3s. And then I'm going to do a Mark 1 belt coming out of the machine. And then just to double check that this is going to be steel ingots, 45 iron ore per minute on the input and 45 coal, sending out 45 steel ingots. So if we do 45 times by 6 is 270, which we have already compensated for upstairs in the constructors. Now let's um, add these onto this side here as well. So we need to put uh, ba -ba -ba -bang, you here. Wait. In the middle, right? I did this in the middle. Cool. You there, you there, and you there. And then if I go here, I'm going to go by two. Uh, Did I go by... Oh, I went by three. I went up by three. I thought I went up by two. So let's put the third one down. Remove the bottom two. Grab you. Oh, God damn it. You, 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 and you, and you. Remove them. Got myself the Mark two, which this does need to go to a Mark three. Put you into a Mark 3, you into a Mark 3. All these belts as well. Upgrade these to a Mark 3. Upgrade this lift to a Mark 3. And then also just follow this line along. And then we'll do all the underflooring later on. That also needs to go to a Mark 3 now as well. Uh, and then we'll do you as well because you need to be a Mark 3. I don't know how many times I'd have said Mark 3 then. Upgrade these belts. And now I can just do a Mark 1 going onto the input from the ground floor here. And then I also need uh, logistics. I need a Mark 1 lift. Going from there to connect up to the 3 tier splitter. And that is that connected. For the power sake, we've already got the template down for that. So if we go... Uh, is it underneath we've got this power dump? I think it is. So let's quickly go under the, under the ground here. Delete this whole strip. Oh, not that cable though. Uh, delete this whole strip. Uh, and then we just need to follow this. So this is... One, two, two from the edge. So if we go for the power node there. One, two. That'll be directly feeding there. And this is why I like super clean cable lines. Um... Because cables can obviously be annoying. Cool. Now we can put all this flowing back. They're all powered. And then we just need to set the recipes. And then also uh, go and fix the input lines for the coal and iron. Which we have already upgraded the uh, iron lines. But I forgot to do the coal lines. So I need to head over there and upgrade them lines as well. And there we go. I've now upgraded the coal lines to Mark II. And yes, I do read the comments as well. And there is some comments out there that are going, Bits, your platforms are not supported. I know this because I don't know the direction I'm going. So for my sake and your sake, <laughs> I've now added supports. So are you happy now? You bloody better be. Okay, so I was just doing some cinematic shots just for them pillars and stuff. And then I noticed something. 
<laughs> oh my god. Literally, my... Because I unlinked my Epic account, and when I logged back into this save to do edit stuff, I lost all my items. I was like, wait, what have I done? And I couldn't find my body. And here it is. He's just floating in midair outside the base. So I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'm just going to leave him there. I want you two guys to give me a name, and I'll put a sign inside of him. Uh, I'll put it into, like, uh, epi the next episode. I'll put it into episode nine. Um, put some names in on what we should call it, um, and I'll we'll make a little shrine or something for him. I don't know. We'll do something. Who knows? So there we go. I've just quickly done this steal. It was just a matter of just duplicating everything we already had. I didn't want to put you guys through that again because we've already set up the steel building before. But also, I've brought up the encase industrial uh, beams from downstairs upstairs because we needed the room uh, for all the foundries that we needed to add. Uh, so what I've done is, if you notice on uh, this line here, you can actually see the concrete going up in the center of the build. And then I've got everything running across these belts here, ready to be sent over to the base because that's where we're going to be bringing the statters and mortars. So the next plan of action is to bring the items down here, then across along here, and then I think I'm going to have them running uh, parallel to... That's a tree. <laughs> Moving them parallel to the highway just here. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to bring some belts down because I've just put some lifts on the outside of the building, and we're just going to build these across here. The center one is a uh, case industrial beams, so that I'm going to put that onto a Mark 1, but these two are going to go onto a, a Mark 2. Because, obviously, they're a lot easier to expand and everything. I'm just going to take it across this platform. And I'm going to kind of just run it across the edge. Um, like, all the way around here. And then we'll kind of do something. I might even, like, include signs uh, to make some form of um, lighting, maybe. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, we'll see what we're going to do. Is it? I don't know if it's the... Or the I think... Wait. Why don't I just do that? That'll be easier. That's better. Sometimes I keep forgetting that you could actually use the middle mouse button to rotate at the end. I always forget. I just need to put this here now, but bring this out by one. Which then will keep... Yeah, that's perfect. Bloody perfect. Let's put that there as well. And then we can just bring this along. And continue all the way to the mega base. And there we go. Now I've brought over the goodies. Um, yes, it's a floating platform. I know there's no need to leave a comment. I know. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I've done is uh, I've actually put some signs here so you can kind of quickly see, uh, visually see, um, how many is going to be on each each line. So we've got 180 pipes, 12 in case industrial beams per minute, and 87 um, beams per minute. And they're going to be coming up underneath here, which we've just put three elevator lifts here. And... We want to take it above. So what I need to do now is I need to um, add a second floor up here with an underflooring and bring these belts up. And then we can start looking at the scale or what and how many um, assemblers we're going to need to put down for our... I think it's going to be eight. I think it's going to be around eight. Um, but uh, yeah, let's crack on with that and uh, get that built. Now that we have the foundation complete, I do need to bring up the lifts. So I need to put you... Actually, I need to get underneath, don't I? I need to get you to connect from there into there. Then we need to put a Mark 1 in the center one. Wait. Oh, I've done that the wrong way, haven't I? God damn it. Just like that. Did I do underneath? I believe I did. I think I didn't. So let me... Connect you up to there, mark three up to there, and then a mark one in the center. Now that is going to the uh, the logistics floor uh, underneath the second floor. And now we can actually cover that up and uh, start working on that. Now I just need to put the lifts on this floor. And then we're set now. We just need to uh, figure out is how many um, assemblers. 
Get on there. There we go. Uh, how many assemblers we're going to need? So, let's just put you down, and we're going to use... Um, let's have a look here. 40, 80, 120. If we look at possibly doing six, that's going to be 240 wire. And if we do two and... Uh, so, just for people who don't know, 40... Wait. Hello? Calculator? 40 times 6 is going to be 240. And that means also 6 times 15 is going to be 90. So that's 90 pipes we're going to use. I think that's a decent number because we do have two uh, wires coming down here. And I think what we'll do is we'll just divert the one, possibly this one that's stationary maybe. Um, because I don't think that... Why are you not going into a sink? What are you? Where are you going? I don't even know where this is going now. Oh, it is going to the sink. It's just that I disabled it. We had the power issues, remember, when I before I had to upgrade the coal plants. Um, okay, yeah, so we'll just divert this one then that's not being used right now uh, into uh, into these. So let's go and place down the assemblers. All right, so we're going to give them a bit of room as well, and we're going to put it into this spot right here just because if that's where the ladder is, there this that means this is the direct line to the um beams and stuff. Um, so Wait, no, is that going to be... Yeah, that, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, so let's put one here, and we're going we're gonna to put some room in between them as well. Just to just use up a little bit more space, because we've got a lot of space to, uh, here. Uh, and I, I, I remembered as well, I called it a mega factory earlier. This is not a mega factory. This is definitely a starter factory. Um, in my eyes. Um, so let's put that down there as well. And we just need one more, right? Yeah, six. Um, so that's going to be six right there. And we are going to bring these in from underneath as well. So these are going to have just full um, floor holes all the way at the entrances of the, these, well, the inputs. And now we've got that. We just need to put Mark 1 lifts all the way across here as well. Now we need to put the recipes in there. So it's going to be starters all the way across the board. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down another assembler here because this is going to be for the mortars. So we're going to, because obviously a mortar recipe does need... Uh, 10 stators per minute, right? And it needs 10 rotors. They're going to come up from downstairs. That's not an issue. And that's going to give us five mortars. But I would like some more stators. So if we've got two there, we've got two going into there. This one is just going to be creating us some stators just to go into storage. And then these two are going to combine into this one. These two are going to combine into one here as well. And then we have the mortars being done. So we're just going to put that here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to grab ourselves a nice juicy merger. And we're going to place that... Uh, just around here uh, and then grab ourselves a mark one belt you straight into there you into there you whoa where are you going you into there and then you can go straight into there then we do need to put a conveyor hole here because this is where the rotors are going to come from i'm going to do this here and the reason i'm putting it on the right hand side here is because if we grab this uh, and then we put the merger uh, in this position this time, this then creates symmetry. Uh, and that goes into there, into there. So now, as we can see, uh, it's got a bit of symmetry. So we've got the that on the left-hand side, that on the right-hand side. And it kind of creates just, yeah, symmetry. Cool. Now, we just need to put the Mark 1 belt into there because it only needs 10 rotors per minute. And same on this side. Make sure I've got the ro uh, recipe set. I have. And I've got you set as well. So that's going to be there. And then we have the mortars here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two storage containers. Um, so organization, we're going to put two industrial containers. And we're just going to place that, uh, say, just here. Mm, yeah, no. I'm going to move it to one side a little bit. Put you into there, and then we're going to put one at you at the side of there. This then creating me the logistics. I need a merger. We're going to get you to face me. Uh, but I'll make sure you're lined up with your brothers. Mark one belt into there. You're going to come around straight up there. And then this is going to come down here. Go into that storage bin. And then we're also going to grab uh, logistics mergers to face me here. I'm going to mark one belt into there. Turn you around here and make a nice little storage solution there but we also need to pull belt from there once we've done that we then need to start looking at the inputs um which they're all lined up yeah cool uh, then we need to start looking at the inputs for the status and then start looking at the power cables 
Okay, so for the pipes, what I'm going to do is I need a splitter. And it's going to be coming from the end one just there. Uh, and we need it, say, about that there. Is that good? Yeah, that's good enough. That is perfect. Uh, and then we need to do this all the way across here uh, and match all these up to our other machines. And I need to bring a Mark III belt, bring it into this splitter and connect all these up just like this. And then we need to grab ourselves a um, Mark I lift and connect you down to all of these. Wait, that's wrong, that one. And then we just need a Mark I going into these and then Bob's your uncle. Wait, something's wrong. <gasps> no, this one is out. Let me quickly fix that real quick. At least I've got the levels done now, uh, the lines. At least I've got the uh, markers. And connect you up, bring you to a Mark 1. Fill you in. And fill you in as well. So there we go, that's our pipes going uh, Pipes, go Actually, no, because we missed this one. That's our pipes going in. I'm not going to do anything regarding overflow here. Because these are for sure going to get used for something else. Um, and it's the same with the... Um, wire as well. Let's actually remove this, because this is the, the dead line now, isn't it? We don't actually need this. Um, so let's remove that. But we, we could, if we wanted to, just merge these two together and put smart splitters at the end. You know what? I am. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be lazy. I'm not going to be lazy. Let's actually get... Uh, change this, and we're going to put you into a smart splitter. So let's grab ourselves a smart splitter. Ah, I need an AI limiter. Let me go and get one. There we go. Smart splitter acquired. Mark three belt into the left in here. We need to put down to um, pipes. Um, center, I want to put it to overflow. And then I'm going to do the same here as well. So I'm going to put a smart splitter. Uh, but this time I need to put it on this side, don't I? Uh, yeah, because I need to put you this way. And I'm going to put you there. And then I'm going to put a smart splitter here, which is going to be for the copper, which is going to come up from that side down there. Um, and then, so in here, we need to put right to be uh, wire. And then center to be overflow. Then we're going to grab ourselves a merger, line it up to here, connect that to that grid just there. And then we're going to bring in a Mark 1 belt from here. Because remember, this is uh, we're using 240 copper wire. Which technically is going to give us an excess of um, 30. An excess of 30 wire. So we're going to put a Mark 3 into there. And then a Mark 3 uh, into here. Which is then going to go into, well, this right here. Because this is what we've just replaced. So let's get our Mark 3. Uh, bring that here, line that up to there. Move it back by two spots, and then connect, and you'll be nice and straight. Right? Yes. Uh, I need to make sure, as well, that this is actually turned on, because I believe I turned it off. I did. Turn that back on. We have 58 coupons, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and now, what I need to do is I need to put the lifts all the way down here, and then connect all the splitters up for the copper side. And there we go, we've now connected everything up. We've brought the copper and the pipes in there to make statters. The next thing I need to do and look at is using the smart splitters little storage system we've got down here to take rotors upstairs. And I think the, 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 the main subject is gonna be this one. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make this to be um, um, rotors and then send that up via this section here into a lift hole. So if we just stand here and then look straight up, that goes straight up there. And then we're just going to grab ourselves a Mark 1 lift. Because uh, we just we just need 20... Uh, you, wait, if I grab you from there, then you'll connect, won't you? Yeah. Uh, so then the rotors are going up there. We just need 20 per minute going into the two assemblers on the top shelf, providing us some motors. Um, and yeah, that is good. So let's get up onto this floor. Uh, let's. Is there an easier way for me to get up here? Let me grab some ladders. Some blinking ladders. Down there. Uh, and yeah, and it's a good way of kind of using the storage thing there. So, what's the room? Okay. Oh, ho, ho. Ho. 
Oh, me God. Cannot get any more cozy. Like, oof. Oof. Now we need uh, two lifts here. So we're going to put you into there. You into there. We're going to grab ourselves a splitter. We don't need to do anything regarding um, sinking because that's being sunk downstairs. Uh, so that's fine and uh, all a bloody dandy. Uh, and then we're going to put a Mark 1 belt into the Mark 1 belt into there and bring this over here as well. Let's actually take this a little bit a little bit more. Actually, we can't because the splitters are going to get in the way. So let's literally just take this straight down then. Uh, but otherwise, the edge of the belt is actually going to clip through the splitters um, from the copper side, uh, which is obviously not good. Uh, so let's just pull this down here. And we're just going to line you up there. You're in the middle. One, two. And then you're into there. So there we go. That's our motors going up. I've already connected the power line here, as you can see. Actually, I've not connected it to this line here. So let's just power you to there. Connect you up. So now motors have got power. Okay, I think we're fine. I think we're good. Let's check on the motor situation. And there we have it. The motors are now being made, which is our primary objective completed. Just look at the size of this footprint. It's a very, very small little setup. Um, and it's very, very clean and very understandable. And hopefully you guys are taking, like, some of the knowledge that I'm giving to you um, and putting it into your own builds and finding it very useful and helping your journey through Satisfactory. Check out some of these videos here if, you've not, uh, if you're interested in more of my content. I do do a bit of variety as well. And uh, if you've not seen the whole playlist, check the playlist out here as well. So thanks for watching. And as always, keep smiling.